We're going to learn a fundamental log law which underpins the relationship between logarithms of different bases, as well as providing a deeper understanding into the implication of the base of a logarithm. This will allow you to further manipulate logarithms so you can change their base, which is really useful because it allows you to express a log using any base of your choosing. Now, let's look at an example of how this could be useful. So if we consider the log buttons you see on a typical scientific calculator, we see that we only have buttons for the log of base 10 and also the log of base E or the natural log. So in case you didn't already know, it is assumed that the log you see on the button here on most calculators is of base 10 and this log is what we call the natural log which is written as ln and the natural log is of base E where E is a fundamental constant in mathematics equal to 2.718 etc with an infinite number of decimal places. So there, these are considered the most important and most used log bases for reasons that we won't get into right now since this goes beyond the scope of this video. However, what I will show you is how we can use these particular log buttons to calculate the log with any arbitrary base using a change of base relation. So let's suppose we wanted to calculate the log base, uh, log base two of 64 using our calculator. So as we can see on the calculator, we don't have a log base two button. However, we have log base 10 and log base E. So let's say we wanted to use our log base 10 button to calculate this log base two of 64. So using the change of base relation, we can rewrite this as log base 10 of 64, where the log button on the calculator is used to calculate the log of base 10, as we mentioned, over log base 10 of two, where we take log base 10 of the exponential in the numerator and log base 10 of the base in the denominator. So notice how we've expressed this log of base two on the left side of the equation as a ratio of logs of base 10, which we can go ahead and calculate using the log base 10 button on the calculator. Now, let's express this as a general relation that we can apply for any case. So for any log of base A and exponential X, this is equal to the log of base B and exponential X, where B is any arbitrary base of your choosing, and X is the number of which we are taking the log or the exponential over log base B of A, where A is the base from which we are changing. So again, in the numerator, we have the log with the new base B of the exponential X. And in the denominator, we have the log again with the new base B. But now where the exponential is the base A from which we are changing. Okay. So now using the example we looked at earlier, log base two of 64, can be written in terms of any base we like. That is uh, log of some arbitrary base B of 64 over log of that same base B of two. So this relation holds true for any base which we might want to change to. So for example, we might want to change to a base of five or a base of 10, like we said earlier, or a base E, uh, or we could just write this as LN, uh, which remember is the natural log, which is just log with a base E, which can be written as LN. So now we're going to use this example to derive the change of base relation uh, that we have here on the right. 
Okay, so let's start by letting our log base 2 of 64 equal y. Now, according to the definition of logs, as discussed in a previous video, this equation in log notation can be written in index notation as 2 to the power of y is equal to 64. Now, we're going to take the log with some arbitrary base b of both sides of the equation. Now, according to the third law, the third log law that we looked at in the previous video on log laws, we can move the exponent y in front of the log to give y multiplied by log base b of 2 equals log base b of 64. Now we can see that dividing both sides of this equation by log base b of 2 will give y equals log base b of 64 over log base b of 2, where remember b is our arbitrary base of choice. Also remember that before rewriting the equation in index notation, we had that log base 2 of 64 was equal to y. So replacing y down here, we have that log base 2 of 64 can be written as the ratio of the logs of the new base b, where we're taking the log of the exponential 64 in the numerator and the log of the previous base 2 in the denominator. So we use this example just because examples can be easier to get your head around. But this relation holds true for any exponential x and also any base a from which we'd like to change base. Okay, so this leaves us with the change of base relation that we started with in the beginning. Okay, so if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon if you don't want to miss new weekly videos. And if you'd like to help to support the channel so I can release more videos more frequently, please visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description and any donations, however small, are a huge help and I'll be releasing exclusive content and explanation materials for my Patreon members. So please do consider joining for full access. Thanks again for watching and see you very soon.